Good morning. All right, let's get into it. Um, here we go. Let's do this thing. All right, let's start like all the other times. We're going to be on our back. We're going to set our hips up right. We're going to get our pelvis lined up, and then we're just going to get into it. And I've got two more to add today, so away we go. All right. All right, flatten your low back. Lift your knees up so that your knees are in line with your hips. 90 degree angle, 90 degree angle. Push, pull. So you're going to push that way against this hand. This side. This hand goes here. You're going to push this way up against it. But you're not going anywhere. So push, switch, push, switch. And again, this hand is doing the resistance on the other leg. Push, 25%. 25% power. Push out, push in, push out, push in. When I push in, I'm putting my fists in the middle, and I'm just pushing in against my fists. All right, post your pelvic tilt. Give it a little rock. We'll do 15. Flatten that low back, scooping your abdominals up and in. Lifting your pelvic floor as you breathe out. Think of your pelvis as a cup. You're dumping your cup out the back. So you're dumping your cup out the back onto the table. There we go. All right, what are we at? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, friendly reminder, if it hurts, don't do it. Send me a message. We'll see if we can't work our way around it. Um, and if you have questions, just put them in the messages and I'm happy to answer them. All right, so post your pelvic tilt, bridge up, and then down. Tilt, bridge, down. Every time we start that again, I want us to set the tilt that incorporates the pelvic floor, gets your pelvis lined up well, and then you push up and feel it in your bum. If you feel it more in your hamstrings, get your heels closer. Well, thank you, Siri. Get your heels closer to your bum. Um, tilt. Press up. So we're looking for that nice straight line from your knees all the way through your pelvis. I don't want it to rest on your neck. I want you to really do that pelvic tilt, squeeze your bum to get it up there. If this is as high as you get, if you just clear the floor, that's totally fine. Um, we're just getting the muscles to fire. So tilt, press, down. Tilt, press, down. Reach your arms long. It locks your shoulder blades in and gets a different level of your core involved. So shoulder blades, abdominals, and glutes are your primary core muscles. So reaching long will help activate them. Take a rest. Anybody have anything exciting going on this weekend? You know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my fan on because I wear a sweater today and I packed. Um, let's see, we're playing soccer this weekend. Very exciting. Um, and that's it. I think outside yard work, get ready for the fall. All right, so posterior pelvic tilt, bridge up, slowly lower. Tilt, bridge, lower. Three, four, five, six. If you've got the ability to breathe out and pull your pelvic floor in at the same time, go nuts. All right. Oh, congratulations. Very exciting. All right. That seems like an exciting weekend, weekday plan there. Um, all right, take another rest. So these are, um, these are maybe one for our like soon to be moms to avoid because it puts you on your back. Um, the sideline ones will probably be a lot better for you, but this one sort of puts a lot of pressure on, um, on your um, circulation, your circulatory system. So maybe avoid this one, but I will put another glute one in there for you in a minute. All right. All right. Last set. Tilt. Lift. Down. Tilt, lift, down. Good. Tilt. I 
I think that was done, but we'll do an extra one just for fun. Good. Let's get right into side lines. So these are good. You can prop up your body, you can put a pillow under you, you do however feels comfortable. So we're gonna flex our knees. Knees are in front of the body. So we've got a bit of an angle here. So not bent knees straight, flex knees forward. Feet lined up and clamshell. So if you've been doing these with us all week, you will have noticed at this point, you now have a much bigger range on which to clamshell without rolling back. Um, and that's what we're looking for. So our muscles manage the range, not like, sure, if I wanted to with my hand, I could move that all the way back. But if I want to do it with my muscles, then I really need to squeeze at the top, use that butt muscle. Man, Siri's, Siri's got some nosiness today. Um, and really open up that hip. All right, so we're looking for the range, that active range of motion using your muscles. And if you've been doing this all week with us, then you should notice at this point that you have a bigger range of, of motion with that hip. If you don't, shoot me a message. We can figure out what's going on. We can do a little video chat. We can, we can figure it out, no big deal. All right, I think that's 10. I get chatty and I forget to count, but it feels like 10. So there we go. Foot in front, bottom leg straight, lift and lower. So this one's stability. Um, you're not gonna really feel much in this one. You're not gonna really feel much in the bottom leg. It may be in your adductors on the inside of your inner thigh, but you are working it. I assure you that you're working it. Five, six, and you're working your abdominal muscles too to stabilize as that leg moves through its range of motion. So these are all very, very useful for getting your core stronger, your hips stronger, your pelvis stronger. 10. All right, well, we're really gonna burn this side out today before we flip over. So bent leg on the bottom, straight leg on the top. Up we go, full range today. So if this is your range, awesome, stick with it. All right, um, I want that leg muscle, I want your butt to feel it right at the top, like right in the side of that butt cheek. There we go. And if you've been doing these all week, then these are probably work today because your muscles have been working. So we'll try and add a little stretching at the end. There you go. Give it a rest. All right, what else is going on? Put up the Halloween decorations, so that's pretty sweet. Um, kids were pretty excited about that. I made beef stew this week, because up here in New England, it's fall. Transitioned right into fall nicely, so that was good. Um, yeah, picture day went well for both my kids, apparently, so we'll see what that looks like when they come home. Yeah, all right, here we go. One, two. Three, four, five. And again, if you want to tuck this hand here or if you have a table, tuck it under there. Give yourself a little support, that's fine. As long as we're not wrapping that body. I think that's 10, sorry guys. I can't talk and count at the same time. I should have a little counter on the wall. Um, as long as we're not rocking our body back and forth. So we want this part of our body to be stabilized. We're focusing right on that hip. All right? What are you gonna do? All right, up we go. Oh, I'm feeling that today. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right here, nine and 10. And again, if your range is smaller, Stick with your smaller range. As you gain strength, you will gain the capability of doing larger and larger range of motion exercises. Um, because I wanna get the extra ones in today, we're gonna to stick with two sets of 10. If you wanna do that third set on your own of all these exercises, um, then that's, I think that's a great idea. 
but I want to make sure that we have time to introduce the two new ones. And then honestly get a little butt stretch because we're going to need it. So we'll do it on this side so I can show you. This leg is bent. Abdominals are engaged, so the low back is, is flat on the, the table at the floor. A little rotation. So toes are usually facing up. We're going to put them out to the side, and we're going to lift them lower. All right? So we're getting the hip flexors involved. We're getting that medial quad involved which is usually the one that goes on vacation when we have knee pain. So we're getting a little core stability. So I want you to make sure that your hips aren't lifting in either direction. You're keeping your core stable. This is just coming from the hip. All right? Drive for the heel on this leg if you feel like you can't stabilize it. And if you feel like you can only go this range, totally fine. We'll take a little rest. Do another set of 10 there, and then we'll switch over and do the other leg. All right, anybody have any questions? Yes, no, maybe? All right, so. <sighs> this is nice, take a little rest, a little break. All right, drive through the heel, engage the core muscles. Think about pulling that belly button up and in, your pelvic floor, every time you breathe out, your pelvic floor lifts. So you get that good brace, shoulders are back and down, so your abdominals are braced, your core is braced all the way around. Rotate that leg out, see, toes are not up, toes are out, and away we go. And I'm not like plummeting back down, I'm not slamming on the mat, I'm controlling it up, controlling it down. There you go, and you're gonna feel in your inner thigh and the inside of your knee, right through, right through this part of your knee. Oh man, that's rough, that's like black on black on black. So if your knee is here, you're gonna feel it in your VMO, this part of your knee, just the medial aspect. All right, so let's go this side. All right. And again, we'll start clamshells, adductors, abductors, and then um, we'll do the straight leg and then we'll do um, the glutes on our belly. And I'll show you how you can modify it if you can't lay on your belly. Five, five, no. Right through here. Ten. Good. Two. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine. Ten. Here we go. Get the range you can get. So I'm not rotating out of the top. I'm not shifting my body. I'm not rotating my hip. This is a straight line. So I'm lined up. My bottom leg is bent for support. And I'm just coming up. So it's all the side of that leg, the side of that hip. All right? Five. Six. And again, my feet are face forward. Um, your toes can be relaxed. You don't have to point or flex your toe, but I do want them facing in that direction. 10, I think. Take a little rest. What else we got? Um, next week, I think we're going to add resistance next week. So if you have an exercise band, awesome. If you don't, we'll definitely figure out some ways that you can do it at home with stuff that you have at home. Because... 15 minutes is easy enough to bust out some hip strength in the morning or the afternoon or the evening, but um, you don't always have all that time to like rush out to the gym and do the thing. So we figure out how to do it at home. We're smart. We're resourceful. Gosh, most of us are parents. <laughs> we know how to be resourceful. There you go. And again, get that big range of motions. What we're looking for, the muscles are squeezing and opening without rocking our body back. It's like a coordination thing too. Like you have to teach your brain what it looks like before you can do it without rocking. It's a learning curve, like everything else. 
time maybe. Sorry guys. We're worse with counting. That's my patience. <laughs> I always guess that we're on seven. And then I make them do three more. Anybody who's in the PT knows that that's what we do, right? Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Alright, then that bottom leg for support. It's in front of my body. Not in line with my body. This leg is in line with my body. Up we go. Two. And again, same thing. I'm not crashing back to the ground. I'm controlling it up and I'm controlling it down. Good. Six, seven, I think, eight, nine. Oh, I'm feeling the burn. Ten. All right, and so we're going to go on our backs and do this leg, and then we'll do the glute exercise and then we'll do a good stretch that'll help open everything up. All right, so this leg is bent. Our pelvis is locked, so that posterior pelvic tilt, abdominals are tight. Not six pack abs, so like not the abs that bring your head up, the abs that keep everybody together. Press for your heel, rotate out at the foot. Are we still, yeah, okay. And then without rocking your pelvis. Now, if you find that you like rock back and forth as you lift up, put your hands under your bum. So you're sort of on either side of your tailbone. Give yourself a base of support for that. So you might not have the abdominal control yet or the pelvic control to stabilize that. You might find that as you lift up, you rock over. So if you put your hand right along your tailbone on either side, um, that'll give you two things. One, it'll give you a little bit of a base of support. When you lift this, you'll have a little extra support under there. And also for this one, if you rock away, that gives you a little feedback to know, oh, I should smush that down. So feel free to put your hands under your tailbone if you feel like you don't have that core pelvic support you need yet. And that's totally fine. Drive through that heel to stabilize. And I think that's 10. And again, we're keeping that, we're keeping that pelvic tilt. It's not a dramatic tilt. We're not like trying to do the beginning of a back, a back bend. We're just engaging the core. We're asking the pelvis to line up in a neutral position, the pelvic floor to lift up. Your transverse abdominis to engage, which engages your glutes and your shoulder blades and stabilizes your entire spine so that as you go through these motions, you're not pulling on something that doesn't need to be pulled. All right, push through the left leg, right leg comes out, stabilize the spine, little pelvic tilt, rotate it out at the leg. And again, right through here, right through the front inside of the knee um and at this point you might feel it a little bit in your glutes because we've been working them so much seven eight nine and ten all right the last one we've got for you today is a little bit of a glute set so this is for if you have no problems laying on your belly so some of you might have back pain, some of you might have hip pain, some of you might be pregnant, and so laying on your belly is not an option because it's not comfortable. If you're comfortable on your belly, bend your knee, propped up on your arms, just shoulders away from your ears, so not up here or here. If this is more comfortable, fine by me. And then you're just going to lift your knee up off the floor lift it so it's just to the glutes if you feel it in your hamstrings try and do it with a straight leg that might get you out of your hamstrings a little bit if you can do just the glute without feeling it in your hamstrings you want this butt butt muscle to work now if you can't do that do this right over the edge of the bed over the kitchen table let me move this here and see. 
kitchen counter. Here I'm at the kitchen counter. Leaning forward, I'm supporting my upper body. Here we go. Bend the knee. And I'm just gonna, well, I don't have the rum. I'm just gonna push back through my butt. That's it. So this one gives me a little bit of a hamstring stretch on the standing leg. I'm gonna knock over my back cleaner. Um, I like this one. There we go. All right, we are pushing 20 minutes, so let's do a little bit of a stretch while we're here. Get that leg up on a chair. Um, on the count, I mean on the counter, you get a low counter. <laughs> I want you to just, just lean into that knee. Feel a stretch through your butt. Lean towards that knee, so opposite shoulder to opposite knee. And just enjoy that stretch. Nice little chat. Hold that for 30 seconds. Oh, that's a good one. All right, and then the opposite leg. Get the hip out, open up, lean into it. Feel a stretch in your butt. Right in through that, that space that we worked. It's really good, 30 seconds. Take a deep breath. Congratulate yourself on a wonderful week of hip exercises. Um, again, if they're giving you trouble, if it's not what you think it should be, or if you're not feeling right with it, or if it hurts, um, just send me a message. We can we can work through it. Not everybody's body is built the same, and so not everybody responds the same to, um, to exercise. All right, quad stretch. Hook your foot up on the chair. Oh, man, I'm looking good. Crushing that today. Open that hip up, press your pelvis forward, drop yourself down into that stretch. Okay. So good. There we go, hold that for 30 seconds. We're gonna do the other leg and then that's it for today. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Um, I hope the weather holds. I think it's supposed to be really nice, which is awesome. There we go, pelvis lined. Hip forward, drop down. Feel that good stretch through there. All those muscles get really worked. Yeah, I think that's all we got for today, guys. Hold that for 30 seconds. Go back and watch the video. Add that third set in so you can really fatigue it out. And um, see you next week.